come together and we'll have fun. Before the school day started, Sacagawea knows students at Sacagawea Elementary rallied to save their school. Sacagawea is my home. I love it. It's a great community. One of four SPS elementaries identified for possible closure, but that's just one of multiple issues facing Seattle schools related to its $94 million budget shortfall. What we're talking here is about keeping the lights on. With finances now top of mind, the district is holding a series of virtual meetings, pushing for two levy renewals totaling nearly two and a half billion dollars. If the levy doesn't pass, we're going to be in quite of a, a trick. These are not new taxes. Previously passed levies are simply expiring. In short, it helps us provide a higher quality education than the state would provide otherwise without the levies, provide some of these additional resources that are needed by our community. And to be clear, as of now, the district is still moving forward with its recommendation to close the four elementaries, admitting the levies will not fix the budget, but could bridge some financial gaps. So one of the levies would be for three years, the other for six. Based on current home values and district estimates, they'd cost the average homeowner a little more than $200 each year. Now next month, the school board will decide if the levies will in fact be placed on the ballot that would happen in February of 2025. Madison. Jim, thank you.